Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at the ASUS expansion card USB 4 PCI Gen 4 card. This is very similar to the Thunderbolt card that they had previously. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this expansion card which will enable USB 4, which is a 40 gigabit USB-C form factor to an existing PC that I built. So just to kind of show what is in here, if we open it up, Inside we get the card itself and then underneath here it comes with two full display port to display port. These are full display port cables. So this will be used if you wanted to do video DP input into the USB 4 card from your GPU or from some video output source. We'll show how that works in a little bit. And then we also get the header cable. This is an ASUS proprietary cable that was used with the Thunderbolt cards that they had previously. So they've retrofitted it to work with USB 4 because USB 4, if you don't know, is basically Thunderbolt 3 standardized. And then we have a USB cable for the motherboard. And then the last thing in here is the manual. So it does look very similar. I do have the Thunderbolt EX4 card from Asus as well. Uh, that's in a different system, but this is what it looks like. You can see on the back where we have to plug in the USB header cable and then the special proprietary Thunderbolt slash USB4 header cable. And then there's an optional six pin PCIe. It is USB-C, but it is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt. So that means if you have a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 device, those devices will work with this card. So for example, we will be testing here the Avermedia Live Gamer Bolt. So I've done a video on this with Thunderbolt in the past on an AMD X670E Aorus Master a couple years ago. So I'll put a link to that in the uh, video in the cards up above but yeah if you want to check that out if you're looking at Thunderbolt so that would work as well with this but this is a Thunderbolt device it requires Thunderbolt 3 and we're going to show that USB 4 supports the full PCIe tunneling at least the card from Asus which this is using the Asmedia ASM 4242 chipset that a lot of the upcoming X870 and X870E motherboards that are supporting the new Ryzen 9000 CPUs will also ship with. So think of it like those new motherboards have this chip soldered onto the motherboard. So you don't have to buy this card if you want USB 4. Those new AMD motherboards already include USB 4. So you guys can see we have a 4090 up here in the top slot. It's covering up another slot that I can't use because the GPU is too thick. That's why I don't recommend really big triple slot or quad slot GPUs for workstations. You want to go with a thinner card like AMD's Dual W7900 that came out back in Computex. But you would really use like a professional card if you're building a workstation like this. And then we have an Avermedia capture card. That's also why we're going to swap to this. So that we can use a external capture card that does the exact same thing while also providing another USB port because on the back of this you can see that we have two DisplayPort inputs and then we also have two 40 gigabit DisplayPort outputs. So these are USB 4 ports, these are both 40 gigabits. So my external capture card will connect into one of these and I can still use the second USB Okay, so for the first one, let's do the USB header cable first. Once we clear up the PCIe slot so that we can fit this stuff in, so the first cable we're going to plug in is going to be the USB 2.0 header cable, and then we're going to plug in the USB 4 header cable. So that's plugged in, so we're just going to wait for the card, and then here on the other one, there's a missing hole. Okay, and it says it's it's printed on the motherboard. Okay, once those are in, now we just need to plug the cables into the card itself. So it lines up. It only goes in one way. And then likewise, 
the USB 2.0 header, this one also only goes in one way. All right, so once those are in, again, the six pin is optional. You don't need this. We're not going to be using that. Then for the, for the WS Sage from ASUS, this is specifically a Threadripper motherboard meant for the latest Threadripper 7000 series. So this one, it needs to go into the second from the bottom slot. So this is the bottom slot. It'll be this one here. This is an X4 slot. Okay, and then once we have everything cable managed, you can kind of see in there, the main thing you want to be mindful, if you're using all the slots, especially the bottom slot like this one, you want to be mindful of the wires. You don't want the wires to be crushed or the connectors to be crushed by whatever card you have here. But you can see all the PCI slots are in use on this Threadripper system. This is the reason, this is one of the reasons why you, somebody would go with a Threadripper based PC as opposed to a standard mainstream desktop. And then looking at the back here, you can see this is kind of how it looks. Okay, once you have the computer powered up, you are going to have to go into the BIOS to actually enable the card for ASUS motherboards. So from the main BIOS screen, you're going to want to go to Advanced. And then we're going to go down to AMD PBS right here. And then in there, the only option is ASUS USB 4 add-in card configuration. So we're going to go to Enter. And then the default is disabled. We're going to hit Enter. And we're going to do Down. And then we're going to do Enabled. So set that to Enabled. And then here it's going to set some defaults. These we don't need to change as far as I know. Yeah, these are just... I would just leave these alone, just enable it, hit F10 to save, and then boot into Windows. Okay, now that I have the card installed and I have the BIOS settings to enable the USB 4 card, I have plugged in my AverMedia Live Gamer Bolt. This is a Thunderbolt 3 based 4K60 capture card. It's external, you can see it right here sitting on top of the computer case, and it's working fine. So. We're going to do a couple of things to showcase in Windows just to verify everything is working. Okay, once we're in Windows with the USB 4 peripheral connected to the PC, in this case I have an AverMedia Live Gamer Bolt connected as shown here. I have the PlayStation 5 connected to that over HDMI. So we're able to play Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, for example, here to capture gameplay footage or even just live stream the game. This is pretty much how the pros do it. But what this shows is that the USB 4 card from ASUS supports the full PCIe tunneling capability because this Live Gamer Bolt requires PCIe tunneling because it requires Thunderbolt 3 compatibility for it to actually work. So if you don't have this capture card to test or if you don't have any USB 4 peripheral at this point in time, you can still verify that it works by going to the device manager and opening up the universal serial bus controller section here. And you wanna make sure that the USB 4 host router provided by Microsoft in terms of the drivers being provided by Microsoft is recognized. Now Linux is probably gonna be a little bit different because you're going to need to find the chipset drivers for the Asmedia USB 4 card and install those manually. You can also go into the Windows settings as shown here, type in USB 4 into your search or just Bluetooth and devices and then drill down to USB and you'll see that there's a USB 4 domain connected and it shows that the vendor is Asmedia Technology and there it is, ASM4242. So that is the USB 4 chipset. The X870E and X870 motherboards will include this ASM4242 so that all of those motherboards will have USB 4 as mandated by AMD. Finally, you can verify your devices that are connected to the USB 4 ports down here. In this case, we have an AverMedia Live Gamer Bolt, as said earlier, and you can verify the downlink and uplink bandwidth available to the device. In this case, we have full 40 gigabit per second down and up and it's using PCI Gen 3. The reason why it's PCI Gen 3 tunneling is because the AverMedia card only does Gen 3. That is the capture card in this case supports only up to Gen 3 whereas the USB 4 card from ASUS 
using the as media chipset actually supports up to pci gen 4. so that's going to be the overview of how to get it working how to add usb 4. this card is compatible with other motherboards from asus but the compatibility is going to depend on the bio support from asus for those motherboards if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below and i will catch you guys in the next one thanks